This video is uh, uh, part two of uh, VJT circuits, and it is on uh, bias and stabilization. By biasing a VJT, we set a suitable uh, voltage and current in a VJT. When biasing, we set midpoint biasing. That is, the Q point is uh, set on the center of the load line. Then uh, maintaining the Q point uh, stable, independent of the temperature variations and the transfer parameters, is called stabilization. Many bias circuits have been uh, outlined and compared, and uh, most of the important uh, bias circuit has been uh, the uh, potential divider bias circuit and is commonly used. This bias circuit is independent of uh, beta. Okay, so we start with the uh, video. Uh, uh, BJT as an amplifier, we need to bias it as an emitter base junction to be forward biased and the collector base junction to be reverse biased. Uh, that is uh, basically the active mode of uh, operation of a BJT. If it is not biased properly, then it uh, would lead to inefficient and unstable operation, and it will also lead to distortion. Uh, by biasing, set the uh, current through the BJT and the voltage across the BJT. So this is what the biasing does. So uh, we we'll start with the load line. Uh, uh, before we set a uh, Q point, we have to know the DC load line. And this load line is drawn on the output characteristic of the transfer, which gives IC and VC. Uh, that is, uh, we have considered here as a common input com configuration. Uh, and uh, this BC bias, uh, there is no signal, AC signal is applied here. That's why it's said to be uh, DC load line. Uh, a selected Q point uh, shift from its uh, position whenever uh, we set a particular point on the DC load line is shift because of the beta, the uh, beta factor of the transistor, the IB, the base current, and the ICO, the leakage current. Since they are dependent on temperature, and uh, because of this, the value of IC, which is function of these parameters, also increases. And the increase in IC shifts the Q point. Now, number two is variation of BJT parameters from unit to unit also will shift the uh, Q point uh, uh, which has been set. So we have to take care of uh, stable Q point and uh, to make it stable, uh, suitable bias arrangements need to be used. Now here uh, we'll indicate uh, the uh, load line analysis uh, uh, for the uh, common emitter configuration. This is a common emitter circuit is taken. And here VCC and RC, they are the fixed parameters. And this is the output characteristics for the common emitter configuration. Then these are uh, the uh, characteristics for uh, fixed uh, base currents. This IB is equal to zero. This IB one, IB two, IB three, and IB four. And this is VC and uh, the Y axis is the IC, the collector current. So. The equation for VCE uh, is given here. VC is VCC minus VCE will be VCC minus IC into RC. And this equation has been rewritten as IC equals to minus 1 over RC VCE plus VCC over RC. 
it's only to indicate uh, that how to draw the load line. If I take in this equation IC is to be 0, then VC turns out to be VCC, which gives uh, point A on the load line. And uh, um, if I take IC, uh, the other point uh, is taken here. Uh, that is, uh, when IC equals to 0, that uh, we have set a point here. And uh, uh, now the other point is uh, set to be, that is, uh, the axis uh, which is cutting, and that is the VCC over RC is the other point here. So this is point B is another point on this low line. And uh, uh, we draw uh, a line here. Uh, over this point, joining the points A and B, and this AB is said to be the DC road line, and uh, Q here is said to be any point on this line, load line is an operating point, and we have selected a point somewhere in the middle of this uh, load line, and that is said to be a uh, Q point. Now, uh, selection of the Q point, how do we uh, select a Q point uh, when the characteristic is given? So again, uh, this characteristic is being drawn here. Uh, this is uh, A, B is a DC dot line here. Three uh, uh, points, Q points have been selected here, the D, C, and E here. Q points, and this is IC versus VCE. And the input uh, is applied here. Uh, what we observed is when we take a D as the operating point or Q point, uh, we notice here the uh, upper uh, part of the upper half cycle of the input gets uh, clipped off due to the saturation reason being coming. So here we observe the top of the collector current has been clipped off. And the output here, you notice here, the negative cycle of the output is clipped off because there is a 180 degrees phase shift between the input and the output. So, uh, what we observe here, similarly, if I take, uh, we take E as the operating point here, uh, you will notice here that uh, due to the this cutoff region, uh, the a uh, negative cycle of the input would be clipped off. So the best operating point would be this center of this load line. So see the middle point on the load line, and uh, you can get uh, uh, maximum output, uh, AC output without distortion. So this is said to be a midpoint biasing of the transfer. OK, factors affecting the stability of the Q point uh, uh, we notice here that uh, for common emitter amplifier, IC is given by beta IB, beta plus 1, ICBO. Beta IB and IC will, they are all dependent on temperature, and so the key point will get shifted. And there is another uh, uh, parameter which is important, the uh, variation of the VJT parameters by itself. Uh, they are varying from unit to unit, and that also gives the shift in the operating point. Okay. So that has to be taken care of. So we take a common emitter configuration, here IC as usual. So the stability factors uh, here consider delta IC or delta ICBO with respect to reverse uh, leakage current. And the other stability factor could be with respect to base to emitter voltage, delta IC over delta VB, and could be S beta, delta IC over delta beta. These could be the three kinds of stability factor but mostly we consider the uh, most uh, prominent one here. Okay, now uh, we uh, see the uh, uh, various uh, biasing arrangements that uh, we'll see in the next uh, slide or uh, next sheet, uh, but it is observed that uh, the uh, best uh, bias arrangement is the potential divider bias or the said to be a self bias. Uh, it's also called to be a universal bias and uh, 
the other bias arrangement like fixed bias, base bias with emitter feedback and collective feedback bias circuits, Q point depends on beta and that is why beta depends on temperature and also depends upon variation uh, from unit to unit. So the Q point is uh, never fixed, Q point varies and this is the arrangement of potential divider bias. R1 and R2 are uh, the two resistances that are also uh, work like a potential divider, that's why its name comes as a potential divider bias. Here, uh, this uh, potential divider part forward passes base emitter junction and uh, RE, the emitter resistance provides a DC stability. So, if we just uh, observe here, uh, if the IC, the current uh, increases, electric increase due to temperature rise, what we observe the VRE also would increase, voltage across RE would increase and the current has increased. When VRE increases, this will also, uh, uh, the VRE is related to V2 minus ICRE. So by this relation, you can see VRE increases, VB will be reducing and v, VBE would be reducing, that means IB, the base current would be reducing and reduction of the base current will reduce the IC. It's a kind of negative feedback now and that is stabilizing the variations uh, due to the temperature or uh, variation to beta. Now, uh, uh, this uh, sometimes uh, bias is also analyzed uh, uh, like uh, you can take a Thevenin's uh, equivalent and then analyze this uh, bias circuit. Uh, you can just uh, see the circuit diagram here. This circuit diagram uh, uh, shows here, uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, you can see this uh, Thevenin equivalent has been taken at the input side here and uh, V Thevenin would be R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into VCC and R Thevenin is given here. So you can find out the value for IB and IC and this gives the stability factor beta plus 1, 1 plus beta plus RE upon RE plus RTH and this approximate to this value. So we observe here the stability factor for uh, uh, this circuit is uh, uh, very low and the ideal stability factor is uh, considered to be of the order of uh, uh, unity, unity, but uh, normally that uh, unity value is never achieved, even the typical uh, value like uh, 10 of stability factors seems to be quite all right. Now, uh, while uh, designing this uh, kind of uh, bias arrangement, uh, there are certain design guidelines uh, how you can design this network. Uh, for low power transistors, uh, uh, high RE for better stabilization because if the RE is more it will get better stabilization but larger drop across RE so output would decrease. So a compromise is made uh, for the value for RE and the typical values are taken between 500 ohms to 1000 ohms. Now second is IC is typically taken 1 milliamperes for the low power transistors and emitter voltage, emitter V is taken about 1 tenth of uh, VCC and uh, I1, the uh, current through uh, this uh, potential divider uh, arrangement uh, should be greater than 10 IB. IB is the base, base current here. This IB and this current I1, you can notice here the current I1, this I1 has to be uh, greater than 10 IB. So this is uh, uh, about the potential divider bias. Now we'll uh, compare uh, the various uh, bias circuits very briefly. You can uh, refer to any book uh, and uh, see that uh, how these circuits uh, have been analyzed. Although I have given a very brief uh, analysis uh, here, some governing equations have given. This is a fixed bias arrangement, the first one. And here the IB is VCC minus VB over RB, it's a straightforward, I see beta IB and this is VCC minus RC. This uh, uh, stability for this uh, 
Arrangement comes out to be beta plus 1, which is a very large uh, factor. So, this comes about 100. Typical value comes about 100. Now, the some variation, some changes have been done here. Like uh, here, this uh, base bias with emitter feedback, uh, this emitter resistance has been put here. So, this is the corresponding averting equation here. I'm not going into details. So you can refer to the books. The value for stability factor here comes out to 1 plus beta over 1 plus beta RE upon RE plus RC. And this also, although it is not beta plus 1, it's less than beta plus 1, still the value, typical value could be. I'm taking here some typical values like 75 is the value for here. Now, the collector feedback bias arrangement here, these are the governing equations. And here, the value for stability comes to 1 plus beta, 1 plus beta, RC upon RC plus RV. This comes a little lower than uh, the value here taken. So, maybe this is considered a little better kind of bias arrangement. But the best bias arrangement is the potential divider bias, which we have already seen. And the best arrangement is this bias arrangement, R1, R2, and R3. This is uh, their thermodynamics equivalent, and these are the corresponding governing equations. Again, uh, the stability factor is 1 plus uh, beta over 1 plus beta into RE over RE plus RTH. This thevenin's uh, equivalent resistance, and the stability factor comes out to be 1 plus RE by RE. This independent of beta. This uh, bias arrangement turns out to be independent of beta, and the typical values of 20 seems to be quite all right for this uh, kind of arrangement. So, this potential divider bias kind of arrangement is the best arrangement uh, for the bias and mostly 80, 80 to 85 percent times we use uh, this kind of uh, bias arrangement. Now, uh, we'll uh, uh, summarize uh, 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 what all uh, we have talked about. Uh, we have seen that um, uh, it's observed that the midpoint uh, biasing is done uh, to allow the maximum AC output voltage. Out of uh, various bias circuits, consider potential divide bias, bias is the best bias arrangement leading to beta independent bias circuit. And the name voltage divider is uh, derived from the fact that R and R2 form the potential divider. And so other names, uh, other name are like self bias or universal bias. And the ideal value of the stabilization factor is 1 uh, for, uh, in general, uh, for the any kind of bias arrangement, but the uh, value, typical value around 10 seems to be very good for this kind of bias arrangements. Thank you very much.